Machined is designed around topics and content clusters. A content cluster is a group of articles that focus on a specific topic and are tailored to a specific audience. These articles are written so they can link to each other naturally, forming a web of content that ranks well. Let's create a cluster together. To start, click on Create Content. We need to specify a topic, an audience, and a language. When choosing topics, we suggest using a hierarchical definition so the AI clearly understands what we want. For example, if we want to write about leash control for dog walking, we should define it as a hierarchical topic. Next, we define our audience. It's best to be specific, but not overly detailed. There's no need for long texts or detailed personas. We just let the AI know who the articles are for. In this example, the target audience are pensioners living in the countryside with large dogs. The language will be English, but there are many other options available. In Machined, we can build a cluster in two ways. We can use Autopilot, where the AI agent researches keyword data, search results and uses its algorithm to find the best keywords for our cluster. Or we can use manual mode. This is where we can add our own keywords. This is useful if we have our own keyword strategy or experience with keyword research. For this demonstration, we'll use the Autopilot feature. With Autopilot, we can choose small, medium or large clusters. And we can also set a region if we want to limit how the AI looks at search results. We usually recommend keeping this global unless we have a specific need. For this example, we'll create a cluster with 10 keywords. Now, Machined is analyzing search results and keyword data using its algorithm to build an optimal cluster. And here we have it, a new cluster with 10 articles. Each article is focused on a specific keyword and comes with a pre-generated title that we can change if we want. In the next panel, we see some basic keyword data like monthly search volume, advertising competition, and the 12 month trend. These numbers are just for reference and can help us see how balanced the cluster is. It's best to have a mix of high, medium, and low volume keywords, some red, some orange, and plenty of green. The advertising competition metric shows how valuable a keyword is. The higher the value, the more people are willing to pay for it. The trend metric tells us if a keyword's popularity is going up, going down, or has seasonal changes. The next panel shows our article settings. There are several settings we can explore. Let's start with a quick overview. For more details on each feature, you can watch the additional videos. In the general tab, we can select the type of content and add custom instructions. The content types we support include ultimate guide, informational, listicle, roundup, review, comparison, tutorial, troubleshooting, and a custom outline option. It's important to pick the right content type for each article for the best results. For example, for our main keyword, we would choose ultimate guide and make it very long. For an article about the best leash for dog walking, we would choose a listicle to create a list. This article would be medium length. For each article, we can also add a custom brief. These briefs let us give specific instructions, insights or opinions on how the content should be written and formatted. Think of it as a prompt. For example, we could ask to include a table in the introduction, mention our company, dogs or woof, or avoid bold words. These are instructions for the AI agent, which it will usually follow. But remember, this is AI, so we may need to try different ways of giving instructions. Next, we have the author tab. This is where we control the voice, perspective, and tone of the article. We offer several built-in voices, from casual to professional. You can try different voices to see which fits best. For casual content, we recommend the blogger voice. For official or government-like content, the minimalist, and for anything that needs a professional touch, the professional voice. We can also create a custom voice. To do this, we need to provide up to three samples of content that we've written before, or that matches the style we want. After adding the samples, we click Analyze, and Machined will create a style guide we can save and use later. When creating each article, make sure to use the voice that matches the tone we want. We can also adjust the perspective and tone as needed. 
The next section, research, is important for creating up-to-date content and avoiding hallucinations. To enable research, just check the box. In the settings, we can exclude competitors from search results. If there are specific pages we want the AI to use for research, we can turn on directed research and paste the links there. Next, we decide if we want citations in our articles. We can choose inline links, footnotes, or no citations. We can also pick images for our articles. We can choose from stock photo libraries like Pexels and Unsplash, or AI-generated images using Dolly 3 or Stability. If we choose AI-generated images, we can pick from over 70 styles and 30 different colors to keep our style and color palette consistent. Finally, we decide how our articles will link to each other. We support several strategies, with opportunistic as the default. This lets the AI decide which articles to link based on context and relevance. Or we can use the hub and spoke strategy, which sets up a more structured link between the main article and the supporting articles. Choosing none means there will be no interlinking. We can also go into each article and tell the AI which other articles it can link to. This gives us detailed control over linking in our cluster, which is helpful if we want a specific strategy. The last tab, Advanced, is where we choose which model writes the article and some formatting settings. We recommend using GPT-01 as much as possible. It's a bit more expensive, but it's much better than the alternative. Use O4 Mini only if budget is a concern. Once all settings are ready, we can start writing articles by clicking Write. We can write them one by one or use the cluster menu and select Write Articles to include all selected articles. As shown, the first article is being written now. The image is being generated at the same time. Once the articles are ready, we can review them. Each article should take no more than 20 to 30 seconds to write. The first article took 34 seconds. By clicking the edit button, we can open the editor and see the article. At the top, we see an article that's 3,043 words long and takes about 14 minutes to read. The editable content is in the middle. On the side, we see the featured image, generated by stability as we chose. If we want to edit the image, we can click here and pick another option or generate a new one on the side. We can update the meta description for the article and see the keyword the article is written for. On the research tab, we can view all the research the AI agent used for this article. These summaries and snippets come from each web page the AI checked. Most of the article is probably informed by some of this information. On the links tab, we can see all the internal and external links the AI added to the article. For this article, internal linking was not enabled so there are no links. The content is clearly an ultimate guide that's quite long. The custom instructions we gave, like adding a table in the introduction and mentioning our company, dogs are woof, were followed as expected. If we look at the second article where internal linking was turned on and go to the links tab, we see that three internal links were added to the article. Scrolling down, we find links to articles with keywords like positive reinforcement, leash training, best leash for dog walking, and dog leash training methods. All these articles are in the cluster here. After all the articles are written, we can publish them directly to our website, export as Markdown or HTML, or copy the rich text. To publish, just select Publish from the list, choose your connection from the drop-down menu, and click Publish. Now we have a complete cluster of content published on our website, 